This is Patricia Dunn. She unlawfully obtained records of other HP board members and reporters by calling the phone company and pretending to be someone else. Uh, hi, um, I'm Leslie Dupont and I was wondering if I could get my social insurance number. What happened to your uh, original, Mr. Paul? Well, uh, I... I misplaced it. Could I get some kind of verification, ma'am? Hi, it's Brittany, bitch. I was wondering if I could get my social insurance number. Uh, and your last name is Brittany? Well, that's a little personal. Oh, I'm wearing underwear, don't you worry about that. No, I'm not using my kid's head as an ashtray. Hey, it's Michael Jackson. Can I get my social insurance number? Aren't you dead? Yeah, that whole identity thing. It, 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 it's not that I wanted to know more about my colleagues. It's just that I didn't want to know so little anymore. Klaus Kleinfeld, caught with bribing foreign officials during the 1990s with over $500 million in bribes. I just had that big deal last night. Okay, so I've called you all here today because we seem to have a situation. We seem to need more money. What's this money for? Could I have a raise? No. We need... <laughs> we need more money for bribes. Well, I thought this was a potluck. Are you an idiot? This is clearly Cirque du Soleil. I can assure you this is no play. Now, we need a quick way to make 500 billion dollars in quick cash. Well, we could cut foreign exchange. Too risky. There'd be an uproar without spring rolls. Well, we could just sell crap on eBay. That would take too long. We could deal drugs. That's not very practical. We could sell my farm. Do you have a farm? Lemonade? I got a jar of coins here. Uh... Bootleg DVDs? Not sure that's... Okay, listen, Claus. Do you see elves here? It's Klaus. Just updated MySpace and I'm a pair. Oh, yeah, Facebook's better. Oh yeah, that's up the chain! Wait, that's not really related though. We could do a bake sale! At least a hundred pennies. We could kidnap George Bush. Who would care? Everyone chill! Prostitution? Alright, I can see we all just need a second to take a breath. We'll come back in an hour and discuss this. Oh, come on guys, it worked last year. <laughs> Angelo Mozillo. He and two other executives were charged with fraud for misleading investors about credit risks and withholding information to investors. Ah, come in. Hey, sorry I'm late. Traffic was crazy. <laughs> you know how it gets. Yeah, that's quite all right, Jim. The name's John, but I always wanted my name to be Jim. All right, let's get down to business. First things first. For an example, if I wanted a loan for an underground pool, how would you go about doing it? I was thinking about 1.5 million. How's that sound to you? That's outrageous! 5 million? Alright, 4 million. No wait, 6 million, but compounded mono weekly. Whoa! Alright, alright. Come on a little strong there, but no, yeah, that's okay. I can see you like hockey. I gave a loan away the other day for 6.4 billion dollars just to sign a rookie player. Whoa, okay, not bad. Per game. What? Mm-hmm. 
Well, the three hours before you got here, I was actually giving away loans. Approximately $900 billion of loans, to be precise. Well, here's a check for $6 billion. You want it? Don't cash it. Puzzles, man. <laughs> Sweet Slinkies. Jesus. Awards. Slammers. I'm pretty sure they don't even exist I don't think this anymore. makes sense. Tape. It's sticky. Don't you think that's a little... Pens. Non-valuable hockey cards. Wait a minute. Dumbbells. I just did a thousand of these today. Guns <laughs> of mass destruction. Are you... Laptops. Ties that are too small. And dressers that are too big. Sand from Egypt. This is not going anywhere. A marker. Dried up. Not working. Wait, it does. <laughs> Alright, could you give me any information about past investors? Chairs, fingernails, and fingers. Man, you really had me at puzzles. Andrew Fasto, one of three main executives from Enron and involved in the famous scandal. Mr. Fasto, is it true that you lied about your profits? Okay, well, technically, I can't lie about what I don't have. Right? Is it true that you concealed your debts so that it would seem like you had a higher net income? Um, well, that would just be uh, even more criminal than me even ever having thought about leaving butter out of this uh, brownie mixture. So what was the purpose of the shady dealings? Sorry, I, I don't think I understand your question. Why did you do what you did? Okay, I don't know where you come from same place as you america okay snip it you little youngin now you listen to me i'm here for all of you you called the press conference you know you're acting like a little bitch right now you're a little bitch you, know? you want to eat tonight don't make me lay the smackdown on you now do you feel any remorse for your mistakes as an executive yeah you know it's there It's there. You know, um, I want to cry, you know, but these tears, they don't want to come out. I'll dry it out of tears. They're gone. Okay. That's how much I care. Okay. I can see that this is going nowhere. You got a phone, you use it. You hang it up, you put it down. Cell phones, yeah, sure, you carry it around, but it's only for so long and you know it. You're gonna get a new one after your three years is up. You know. I can't cry. Okay, now just settle down. Settle down. Ah! You're kind of just dodging the questions. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you intentionally get rid of key documents? Well, how else would I get rid of the evidence? That's just a dumb question. Honestly. Call me back when y'all are getting serious. But Mr. Fasto! Mr. Fasto! This is ridiculous. I'm here for real. This is serious stuff. Ask me questions. Why do I... Why do I shred the evidence? You gotta be kidding me! Hmm, an email from Rex. So, uh, you can clean that up? Cancel. How, how are you reading with your eyes closed?
Well, that's not even clever.